Right now, I want to say a good morning uh, to my good friend Kevin Richards uh, with Ventura Web Design. And these are the good folks who also uh, have designed my website. And thank you so much for being with us, Kevin. Hey, good morning, Alan. Uh, all right, well, let's talk about some of this stuff. Uh, Facebook, a great tool for small businesses, we know that. And uh, you, you help people build a social media presence like me, and I appreciate that very much. And um, we know that uh, Facebook has got nearly, what, 153 million U.S.-based users. I understand that. Uh, when people go on the various sites and they put down, like, like, you know, they says like me or something like that, and they checked in, T tell us about how that works. Right, well, there's, uh, you know, obviously Facebook is, the number one visited website in all of the U.S. That's where most users spend most of their time. And that's also true about how you use your smartphone. Most of the time you're not even checking email or, or reading other things. You're on Facebook. And so if we're spending that much time there, it's, it's good to understand how things work. And, you know, the like button is one of those things that people don't always understand all the implications of what happens when they push that button. Same thing with the sponsored stories. Sometimes people don't understand why they're being shown certain advertisements or certain information. And well, let me ask things, you something. If, if you do check like, what, what does that mean? I mean, does, does that mean that you're, you're going to be all over other people's uh, uh, websites and, and, and emails or what? Well, typically the like button is the only way for you to really connect with a company or an entity, a politician on Facebook. You have to, your only option is to like them. And so whether you like them or not doesn't really make a difference. If you want to uh, connect with them, the like button is the, the way most people know how to do that. Now, there is another tool called follow, but you have to kind of go out of your way to follow a company and uh, indicate that you're not necessarily liking them, but you're interested in what they have to say. Okay. Is there a difference between the two and, and how, where, how you show up and what you get in your emails and everything? Well, typically what's going to happen is if you click like, then your friends will see that you've liked whatever it is you clicked on. So, okay. for example, if you click on a politician and you like them, you probably ought to be agreeing with what they're having to say because Facebook is going to turn around, especially if that politician is using the advertising tools that Facebook has. Facebook is going to say, Alan Stock likes this particular person, and you're going to be giving an endorsement for that person whether you like it or not. Does that mean that really, if, if if you like a politician, let's say as an example, uh, they can actually put out there, uh, "Oh, Alan Stock endorses me." Well, they won't use the word endorse, but what it'll say is it'll come up to uh, all of your friends, and it'll say something similar to the effect of, "Alan Stock likes Barack Obama. You should too. Click here to like Barack Obama." Ah, uh, okay. You do that, and then they can turn around and say, "I, I like him," and. And then people go, what are you doing? You're crazy. <laughs> exactly. Now, Facebook has recognized this. There have been a couple uh, different court cases that have come up, and Facebook has created a tool that allows you to exclude yourself from this. So what you can do, and, and Facebook doesn't really make it easy to do this. They certainly don't make it uh, easy to find on their own site. What I'd recommend is doing a Google search. Google for the phrase, edit social ads setting. And that will probably most likely take you to the Facebook page. You might want to throw Facebook in that uh, search term as well. But it'll take you right there, and then you'll be able to exclude yourself from those particular advertisements. All right. And how, I, I, explain that to me. You, how do you exclude yourself from advertisements? I mean, that you don't get on your web page or what? Well, what you're doing is you'll, you'll, you need to be logged into your Facebook account. So you'll, then you'll go to Google separately, and you search Edit Social Ads setting on Facebook, and then you go to, it'll take you to the Facebook page, and then there will be a drop-down where you can say, you know, show me to only people, show, show my information to only people that are friends with me, or exclude me from all advertising. And what it'll do is it won't use your likeness. It won't say Alan Stock likes this or that. It'll simply remove that functionality from your account. And, and where do we find this now when we log into Facebook? Where do we find it exactly? Search for edit social ads. And that's the social ads setting. And you'll be able to exclude yourself right there. Edit social abs? Ads. A-D-S. Like ads. Okay. Got it. Ooh, I'm going to do that when I get home. That's uh, so you already uh, got me uh, going for this. Uh, I'm talking with Kevin Richards. Uh, he, of course, uh, with the Ventura Web Design. Uh, if you want to know about, more about Ventura Web Design, go to allenstock.com. And you'll see the Nevada SPCA logo, which will tell you about 
NSPCA in a bit. Right below that is the Ventura Web Design logo. Click onto that, and you can find out more about Ventura Web Design as well. All right, so I appreciate the information about the edit social ads. That's a very, very, very good thing. So we can go ahead, and I'll exercise that uh, when I get home today, as a matter of fact. Um, this thing I've heard about, about Facebook Envy, what is it? And should people be concerned about it or what? Facebook Envy, another way of saying uh, Facebook depression. It's actually been recognized by the American Academy of Pediatrics. Really? Yeah, and uh, it's based on a research study from the Utah Valley University where they surveyed hundreds of undergrads, and they basically found that those that spent more time on Facebook believed that their friends lived happier lives than they did. And they also indicated beyond that that they felt it was unfair. 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 <laughs> so it's, it's an interesting phenomenon. And, and what, they're, what they said is, you know, you look at Facebook and everybody posts – Typically, you know, most people are going to post positive things. They're going to post Facebook photos uh, of when they went to their vacation. They're going to post information that's positive about their children. You're rarely going to see the, the negative post on Facebook. So if you look at Facebook and believe that that is the only thing that's happening in life, that only positive things are happening to certain people, and that's your only uh, perspective, then you might feel that everybody else has a better life than you do. Wow. So, I mean, uh, is there anything, I mean, can businesses do something to help people not get, you know, Facebook envy with, you know, through their site or, or what? Well, it, you got to look at uh, your posts. You got to look at the reason why people are on Facebook and why they're connecting with your company. So typically there's going to be three reasons why people are, are liking a company. So they, they want to hear about new products. They want to get special deals and they just want to be entertained. So as a business, you've got to recognize those three core fundamentals when you're making your posts. And in regards to Facebook Envy, it, it really relates more to uh, individuals. And I would say there really is not a lot that you should do to, to change what you're, you're posting online. Obviously, you know, your posts should be real. You shouldn't pretend that your life is amazing and wonderful and, and try to uh, you know, always post things that, are, that only correlate with that. But on, on the flip side, I don't think that it's positive to get out there and, you know, post, you know, the negative things. Nobody wants to hear that. Right, right. We don't want to know when you're down. That mean, no. But let me say one other thing, too, uh, because I, I want to get over to Kathy here in a moment. But uh, quickly, the um, something people have to realize, when you post something on Facebook, uh, a lot of people do see it. And it, and in one way or another, it could be in the, uh, I'm in the cloud, so to speak, forever. I mean, you know, somewhere in the Internet roaming around forever. Because there are people who post things that are inappropriate. I'm not going to get into what I'm talking about in particular, but I know of people who have posted things that are way beyond uh, appropriate, and um, uh, these it's gotten these people in trouble. I, I can tell you that. So, I mean, you know, I don't know why the hell people would post some of the things they post uh, on there, um, even some of the racy pictures, because uh, it's all, they're always going to be there. Oh yeah, they uh, they call those selfies. The selfies. <laughs> selfies and you know it's it's the same old concept if if you would think what you're going to do in real life is tmi too much information yeah it's it's tmi on facebook as well you know hold it back um try to remember that yes employers are going to you know look at your facebook before they hire you yeah um you know it, it's a permanent blog of of who you are in, in your life and you got to make sure that you want that image to be out there 10 20 years from now yeah, and it's not just young people who are do, posting these selfies. It's they're people of, of all ages and posting of all ages information that is just uh, and and talking about certain things of their about their life that um, they may regret later. And again, I know some people who have regretted what they have posted, um, and I'm, I'm not going to get into it. But this is it's incredible. Oh, well, my favorite is when you post about uh, hey, I'm on vacation for the next two weeks. Oh, that's stupid. My house. Yeah, that is the dumbest thing in the world. Uh, Kevin Richards, you want to find out more about Ventura Web Design, go to uh, allenstock.com on the right-hand side of the page. And you'll see a Ventura Web Design logo. It says Ventura Web Design. Click onto that. You can find out more about it. These are great people who help you design your website uh, so they can help you build your social media presence. Kevin Richards, thank you for taking time to join us. I appreciate it. We'll do it again next week. All right, Alan. Have a great weekend. You too. Take good care.